Hello, my name is Tori Russell. Russell Tours has been in business since 1991, and we take people to beautiful places. Let's take a quick look at the Tour de Mont Blanc, one of the great trails which we help create a way and experience of a lifetime for you. The Tour de Mont Blanc is a tour around the area known as Mont Blanc in both Switzerland, Italy, and France. And it is a way to see the entire range around uh, the mountain. And uh, it is a beautiful tour that takes about 10 to 14 days. Now, it's very important to note that there are ways to do less of this tour in terms of the actual all the way around the loop, but enjoying all the trails. You can come in and head off and come out of many of these areas by vehicle so you don't actually have to commit to two weeks to hiking in our program we have a program called the multi-culture hike the three culture two culture four culture hike depending on where you want to go and what you'll get to see here and you can see the beautiful nature of this uh, great mountain range is you're really on top of the world in terms of the area the only next area that's close to that you can see out here in the distance is the Zermatt area and that of course is the uh, Matterhorn. So let's take a quick look at this area. You would typically start in Geneva at the airport and so we would have you flying into Geneva. That's the best place to come in. We have also uh, hotels locally there if you're going in late in the evening. It's preferable if you fly overnight and then you can take a bus into uh, the area. There are many ways in from Geneva to Chamonix, depending on what time you land. We prefer if you land in the morning to arrive at your hotel at midday or thereabouts. It's about one to three hours by bus or train, and or you could take a shuttle for about uh, 60 to $80 per person, depending on how many people you have. You can get that rate down quite a bit. We then go to uh, Chamonix, and uh, Chamonix is a lovely area, a couple hours away from Geneva. You are crossing over into France, and so we like to stay at the Hotel Heliopic. The Heliopic Hotel is one of the nicest hotels in all of the areas, and it's right next to the base of the uh, cable cars that go up to the mountain. We also like to uh, go up to the Gogil de Midi, which is this red line here going up the mountain. So you can see how this mountain sits in terms of the town. And uh, one of the areas we like to go on is this uh, track across the looking at the Ogil uh, uh, de Nu de, de Gruz, which is the uh, needle of the uh, Drew Needle. And uh, this area is a wonderful place to enjoy uh, lunch and uh, we have a trail that goes across this area. Uh, I get this to light up for us. And uh, so if you arrive early in the day, you would take this trail and uh, it leads about two hours uh, around trip. It's a very gentle trail, it takes you up to the edge where the uh, glaciers are. You can see the glacier up here. And at the end is a lovely little uh, hotel, I mean, a lovely little uh, restaurant. And uh, uh, this is a very simple hike. You can see the beautiful view that you would have from there. And uh, this Aguil de Drews is across the way here. That's this area up here across uh, Aguil de Vert. But uh, the Drews needle is right in the middle here, this big needle here. So it gives you a good way to get started, to get your legs under you, and so forth. You can also go up the Auguille de Midi and uh, take the cable car up to the very top. It's a very exciting ride. And uh, you can download this entire file and actually look at this on your own in Google Earth and enjoy all the links. But you can go up to the very top here in the cable car 
and see uh, 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 literally a thousand miles around you. And uh, it's just a dramatic area. Mont Blanc is up behind it. And that also goes over into Italy if you want to continue the cable car that way. But what we're doing today is we're going to talk about the Tour de Mont Blanc. And you start at Les Uches and you go to the south end of town. You can either walk or take a little shuttle bus. And uh, you can see going along these beautiful valleys. These red lines are ski areas. So you're actually going along in what would be in the wintertime would be a ski area. Very nice traversing back and forth. You can, of course, take the cable cars up the mountain if you'd prefer not to walk those. And, and there's a simple way to do that and costs very little. So you're going along and you're always looking at and always in your view is this beautiful, massive mountain range around you as you hike. And you can see the areas littered with trails. All of these trails, the French and the Swiss have been providing hiking and trails for over 500, year, 500 years. So this is a wonderful way to get started and get going. You would then go to uh, our hotel and uh, stay with us in one of these beautiful lodges. And we take care of breakfast and dinner. And so you would work your way around each day the different areas and the different refugios in some cases. Some are a little more rustic than others. The Auberge de Nova is a lovely uh, uh, rustic kind of place. and. It is, frankly, going to have uh, 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 dorm room uh, staying. Others are real hotels that have uh, all of the amenities. And uh, so we can continue around uh, on these beautiful trails that go all the way around. And what we're doing is we're circling, basically, all of the area around uh, the Mont Blanc loop. And so we're spending, this is a 13-day hike fully out. And uh, as you come up into the Italian side of the mountain range, uh, out of France. But you can see these roads that are sitting below here. So if you wish to reduce the number of days you're actually out hiking, we can do that without losing the beauty and the setting in any way. You then come into Italy and... Uh, this comes into Courtemayeur. You go down to a lovely uh, hotel called Hotel Wassler in Courtemayeur. This is a, a, a fantastic ski resort, Italian. Again, the food changes, the people change, the kind of feeling about what's going on. And then you've got these lovely walks that go along four to five hours, six hours. Some are a little bit longer. And uh, we work you along these ridges and roads. These are paths that are well marked. And we, of course, provide you with paper maps as well. And then as you move along to the next area, you move back into Switzerland. So uh, once we go to the Edelweiss Hotel, the Edelweiss is a lovely uh, uh, country inn, as nice as there is really anywhere in the world. Comfortable, enjoyable, quaint, great food, and a cute little village of La Foy. We then take you over to uh, uh, Champak's Lock and at the Hotel Splendide. And the Hotel Splendide is a hotel that sits on the edge of a giant cliff in a beautiful little village. The hiking is not difficult. And you can see that this is really your view from the uh, balcony of your bedroom. And then we go along up to Trion, uh, out of You're now going back out of Switzerland and into France. Uh, actually, uh, Trion is in uh, Switzerland still. And we're going to go right up into the glacier here. And you're going to go over in a little, this is a walk right alongside the glacier here into Trion. We're going to stay at the L'Auberge de Mont Blanc. And then, uh, then we're coming back into France again. And uh, this next part is a lovely trail that goes up and over and in and down into Argentieri. And in Argentieri, you're going to stay at a lovely inn called the Hotel Montana and Spa. This is a great place to uh, soak in a hot tub and enjoy the kind of uh, French food in high quality setting. You then will walk along the ridge and there's several variations depending on how much time you wish to spend. And then you'll take a cable car back down into uh, Chamonix and end up back at your hotel, Hotel Heliopic.
I hope this has been helpful in understanding the kind of tour you would have with uh, Russell Tours and the opportunity for us to serve you. We're looking forward to uh, giving you a tour of a lifetime. And uh, you can contact us either by phone or on our website or by email there. Thank you very much. Bye.